Hi, I'm Ron Miller. I'm a lawyer with Miller & Zoys. Today I'm going to talk about Zostavax and shingles. Zostavax was the first vaccine for the prevention of herpes zoster virus, which is commonly known by all of us as shingles. Shingles is caused by the same virus that's responsible for chickenpox, which, as you know, usually occurs during childhood. Shingles is basically the adult version of chickenpox, and it most often affects people like me over the age of 50. Not long after Zosavax was first released, it became apparent there was a problem with the vaccine. For most people, Zosavax worked exactly as intended, without any side effects. However, in a percentage of people, Zosavax virus not only failed to protect them from shingles, but actually caused them to develop a variant strain of the shingles virus that was more painful and more difficult to treat. The problem with Zostavax appears to be related to the way it was developed. Like all vaccines, Zostavax was basically a diluted form of the actual shingles virus. Unfortunately for certain patients, the strain of the shingles virus in Zostavax was not diluted enough and they developed a variant strain of the shingles virus. This variant of the shingles virus is not only more difficult to treat, but it also can cause more internal health problems and more painful symptoms. Since 2016, numerous Zostavax lawsuits have been getting filed against the manufacturer Merck. The Zostavax lawsuits against Merck have been consolidated into MDL class actions, and the end result will likely be, we believe eventually, a global settlement in which Merck agrees to pay a large amount to resolve all pending cases. If this happens, those of that cases will likely be classified in different tiers based on injuries. The estimated value of a Zosavax case will vary depending upon what level or tier the case is classified in. For our purposes, we'll break it down into three potential categories of injury. The first class of Tier 1 cases will be likely include Zosvax claims where the plaintiff's injury was limited to the development of the more potent strand of the shingles virus and nothing further. We think the settlement value of these Tier 1 cases will be comparable to the settlement value of bed sore cases, which is the $100,000 to $400,000 range. Again, we're just guessing at these, but we want to give you some idea of our speculation about the value of these claims. Tier 2 will likely include those cases in which the plaintiffs got the stronger version of the shingles virus and it caused more serious conditions or injuries such as cardiovascular conditions, vision or hearing loss, lymph node disease or other issues. Based on other similar products cases involving similar injuries, we think the Zosvac cases in this category will have a settlement range that could be between $500,000 and $1 million. Tier 3 cases will involve those cases in which the more potent form of shingles caused by the Zosavax vaccine led to major internal damages, which eventually caused death. The average value of a wrongful death case depends largely on the age and status of the decedent, because most of the victims that die in, Zo in, in, in these cases are going to be older. The value of them claims is probably going to be somewhat less than the average wrongful death case for a younger person. So we're guessing between a million and $1.5 million. Again, don't hold us to these numbers. We're just speculating as to what the value could be based on other cases. If you were harmed by Zostavax, call my law firm today. Our number is 800-553-8082. We'll be glad to talk to you and discuss what your options are for bringing a claim. Thank you.